What is up folks at home? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're talking about late, late summer grub bite. This time of the year, the fish come back in. The bluegill flood the banks. The bait fish flood the banks. The shad come back in. The water is at its hottest, but it's good up shallow. So those fish are gonna flood the banks. And a great way to get at them is the grub, right? The curly tail grub. You can fish them big, you can fish them small. Today we're gonna go underwater and we're gonna talk about where I fish the grub, how I fish the grub, and what grubs that I throw. It's simple fishing, it's fun, you can catch a lot of different species, but the bass love them. So let's dive in, we'll see you there. All right, first up here we have the Kalen's grub in bluegill, a classic three and a half inch grub on a quarter ounce head and I'm gonna chuck and wind this anywhere there's bluegill feeding and bass really enjoy eating this grub they'll come out of the woodwork and become unglued on a grub smallmouth also really love eating a grub um, it's just a great all-around presentation it does a great job of chucking and winding you can bounce it off the bottom but a grub is going to catch everything it's gonna catch pike it's gonna catch bluegill it's gonna catch bass this is a bigger grub so this is where I'm gonna start on the grub bite sometimes they'll eat it sometimes they won't it just depends on kind of really what they're focused on that day but I'm gonna start with a bluegill colored bigger grub to see if I can get a bigger bite around grass patches up shallow on flats um, smallmouth will specifically chew on a grub this time of the year it's just a great way to be unassuming it's very subtle coming through the water the second grub I'm gonna pick up is a green pumpkin chartreuse Bass Pro Shops triple tail grub and then I like this grub because it has a long tail as you can see right here It has a long tail. There's a lot of sunfish in the shallows this time of the year as you can see all these fish passing through the, the frame I also like the grub on an eighth ounce head here It comes through everything relatively well what I'm focusing on are grass patches here I want the bass to come up out of those grass patches to eat these grubs because it looks like a minnow swimming through there a grub bite is going to shine for bass when they've been pressured with everything when they've seen jerk baits when they've seen swim baits when they've seen all of that stuff the grub is going to shine i like this one because it has a longer tail the three fingers on the end kind of give it a different action in the water than most and it's a small grub and a bigger profile the tail gives it a bigger profile but it's still a small grub and it's going to do what you need it to do to show fish something different when i'm fishing a grub that's what i'm doing i'm showing fish something different the next one i'm going to go down to is a strike king crappie jig grub on a eighth ounce ball head jig and these are the ultimate and small finesse baits um, bluegill will tear these up bass when they're eating really small bait fish there's nothing better to throw than these plus this bass tries to come up right here and eat it out of my hand underwater right that's how much drawing power these baits have they're tiny little baits if you ever see bass feeding on small bait fish throw a grub they will get they will get killed. I'm telling you, they hit it. It's just like you're fishing for crappie, but these bass were trying to grab these lures out of my hands when I'm swimming with the baits, right? Now, ton of fish up shallow. I like a bluegill colored grub also with the white and chartreuse. I go this one when they're feeding on small young of the year bluegill. Um, it's just one of those match the hatch profile things. Some guys like these grubs, some not. I prefer a chartreuse tail on my grub, as you can see. I just feel like it gives it that extra kick and I feel like bluegill tails are also chartreuse. This comes through everything really, really well. It comes through weeds really well. It comes through grass really well. And it's super light so you can fish it over top of everything. Plus the subtlety of a grub allows you to really divert diversify what you're doing with the bait and it's it can be a simple chuck and wind it can be a scooch on the bottom you can put it under a, a float if you want to but this is going to catch everything that swims right grubs are great for generating bites and sometimes in the heat of the summer we have to go ultra small to generate a bite next up here we have a classic it is a Bass Pro Shops Ripple Shad, um, basically a shad grub tail on a shad profile body. I really like this in clear water, and I like it in pink. Smallmouth love this. Uh, my son Flynn caught a 12-inch red ear, 13-inch red ear on this bait off the dock this time of the year last year. Um, it's just when those sh fish move shallow, it's something different that they haven't seen. Plus, I like this one because it's got a lot of body wobble and roll in it, as you can see there, just like those bigger, more expensive swim baits, but it's in a tiny, small package. Now, 
This one, I like to fish off the bottom like this and kind of rip it up and out of the grass patches because it's got a lot of tail movement, but it also gives out that profile that looks like a fish feeding on the bottom. I really enjoy bottom contact fishing with grubs. A lot of guys just swim them back and you will catch fish doing that, but the more you can vary your retrieve, the more you're going to find fish interested in it. Like we've seen here in these pictures, there are fish all over the place in the shallows, just past another bass there. These fish will eat these grubs better than anything else. They're not going to eat a Ned Rig. They're not going to eat certain things. It's, it's just a way to contact fish that they haven't seen a lot of, and that's kind of a dying art. A lot of guys don't fish the grub anymore. In here, we have a shad pole. Once again, another crappie bait, but this time of the year, bass will eat these things. Bait fish are small in the late summer. It's not fall yet. They're not big bait fish. So, small profile, small jig head, small fish. I really like to fish these around rocks and around structure. You can drop these straight down and fish them vertically. They will eat. The jig and minnow has played very well. Um, it's just a crappie bait that has come across for me as being a great sand flats bait for bass when they're very finicky and they won't eat anything. It's a lure that they can straight up inhale and they will do so. It's just another way to contact fish and get bites when it's hard. Guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video fishing that grub underwater. It is a cast and chuck and wind retrieve. You want to fish them around structure and vegetation. You can fish them in open water. You can burn them. You can hop them. You can do all kinds of stuff. Plus, they are multi-species. Anything that swims is going to eat this grub, right? I like to throw big ones. I like to throw small ones. White. See these minnows swimming around right here right now? That's why you throw the grub up shallow this time of the year. If you guys like what's going on on the channel right now, give us a like, subscribe. Go to Omnia, hit those links in the channel, buy stuff from there. Go to the Rattle Worm, use code Bass Insights to get stuff there. Help us out, guys. Support the channel, help us grow, help us catch more fish, help you catch more fish. We'll see you out there, guys. Thanks.